Oh, I don't know. Um, We'd best get to work. Mm. Uh, here we go. There we go. Now we just have to wander our way back, and, um, you know, Bob's your uncle. That went a lot, a lot better this time than the first. It took me quite a few attempts the first time around. It's, it's quite a struggle. I might upload the original um, recording of this. I still have, the, I still have it. The audio is off on it. But um, at a later stage, I might just join them all into one giant episode. And... Um, give you that. I will be still having to edit out the sex scene. Uh, annoyingly, they don't just have the sex scene. It's sex scene, not sex scene, sex scene, not sex scene. They like, alternate between the two. So it's a little annoying. But, um... I'll work something out. Um, basically, I'll just be editing out any the sex scene because I, I'm just not dealing with that. But you know, flash of ass, flash of uh, breasts. I I'll just dismiss them as artistic, but crotch shot and you know, see, seeing Tris getting anal, I feel that might be a bit too much. Like, I, I can't argue that all the sex scenes are so artistic. Well, I suppose anything can be argued, but, yeah. This whole series will also be flagged as, you know, only for 18s. <laughs> By just, you know, matter of course. But, uh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember where I was going with that. If needs be, old buddy will put it on, you know, uh, red, uh, Pornhub. <laughs> they got through, like, the first eight Cowboy Bebop episodes. They'll accept this. It's fine. Job done. The king is dead. Good work. You've earned your reward. <laughs> Karen Catterpate's armor. Oh, well. How's the Commandant as a host? It's people like him who might help us. Or put us in shackles and throw us into the river. He told me they're keeping Scoyatel prisoners on a barge in the port. Did he mention if Kieran F. Esnelen, Yorvet's right-hand elf, is among them? No. He may know something about the Kingslayer. Let's pay him a visit. Oh. <laughs> Fucking cutscene. Since I was middle of running, I kept uh, running into Triss. Uh, sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. Gotta say, yeah, Grolt, you're a lucky guy. What do you want? To speak with the wounded prisoner. My one's allowed. I'm here on Commandant Verito's orders. I already cut a deal with you, but so get out of my way. He won't tell you much. He's dying. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Shut your traps. Stop bloody moaning down there. <laughs> they beat him bad. He's got at least a dozen fractures. I'll need your help. What do I do? The spell I'm going to use is painful. It could kill him if he thrashes around. I'll use the Axie sign to calm him. Perfect. I swear her voice sounds younger here wanky, wanky, than the first game. Proper. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. Uh, y yeah, oh, birdie, they don't want you to take out. Hey, birdie, you get wet just uh, they don't want you to use the um, like normal key. You have to target the guy and left click. I tried to use the normal, you know, axe sign thing, and girl took out a sword, and the guards got pissy. So yeah, no, you have to actually target him. It's 
no use. That's easy. You wish, Orson. I'm no traitor. He's raving. That gun? Where am I? In Flotsam. On the prison barge. The convict's barge? I'm done for. Um. We'll go with this. We need your help. We need to speak with Yorbeth. Like hell, Dwan. I'll tell you nothing. You'd be dying in pain if it wasn't for us. If it wasn't for the Dwan, I wouldn't be here. True enough. There's a Witcher in Yorvet's unit. Like every Dwan. He turned out to be a bastard. What happened? He betrayed us. He said he had an offer for me. So we met. Where roses of remembrance grow. I should have known. Roses of remembrance? Yes. Some of the last in the world. He thought that I'd betray my elven brother in order to control the unit. I refused. But there was a fight. I've never seen anything like it. No human can move that fast. It was a massacre. I was the first to be hit. Thus I survived. I would have bled to death had Laredo's men not found me. Letho will kill Yorveth, and all will be lost. So many dead, so much suffering, all for naught. Why do? Why does the Dwan want Yorveth dead? He used us from the start. Our hatred, but he no longer needs Yorveth. Sees him as a thorn in his side. But I don't know what Letho wants. I'm not sure if his lips are after graph, uh, you know, glitching out or what. Letho, he's the Kingslayer. Yes. Oh, thank you. What does Yorvith want? Why Flotsam? Go plow yourself. Only I can warn Yorvith. Tell me. He, we're fighting for much more, Witcher. Flotsam is only the beginning. We're no bandits, we fight for freedom. In due time, Yorvith will answer the call, and we'll emerge from the woods, joining the battle. What battle? He wasn't specific. In that case, I'll ask Yorvith himself. <laughs> I'd like to see that. What's his name again? Kieran? Hmm. Again, um... Uh... Like, uh, I think I said this before, Elder Speak is like Irish, Welch, and... No, sorry, it's not Irish and Welch. It's based off the Celtic languages within Ireland, Wales, and Scotland. So, the... Dol Blahana? Ye... No, Blahana is straight out of word from Irish. Don't know about Dol. That could be older Irish, or it could be one from the other two. Or, made up, it's based off of them. So clearly they took a few words, but maybe they, since they're saying it's based, maybe they just made some up that were fitting with the language. You know? I don't bloody well know. Um, but yeah, I think here it might be an Irish name. I'm not sure. We got what we came for. What now? Yorveth. What if Yorveth already knows? I've got an old saying all ready for him. My enemy's enemy is my friend. Warn him, Gwynblade. Yorvath fights, for that is what he does best. He's Enshe, a real one, a free one. Among the last, fighting makes sense. Now more than ever before, there is still hope. What are you talking about, Kieran? Hope for what? For change. For a better tomorrow. I'll not see it. They'll torment me to death on this barge, and I'll go gladly where the apple trees bloom. But you must warn Yorveth. Yennefer told me that Ciri has departed for good. She inhabits another world and is happy there. Before she left this one, she gave us the Isle of Avalon, our island. We stopped counting time. Thank <laughs> you. 
people believe that the wraiths of the wild hunt are immortal. They race across the heavens, gripping in their bony hands swords, their lightning bolts. They take away mortals, never expanding their cavalcade of spectral riders. They burned the orchard and the house. In their armored boots, they trampled our island. Geralt, are you all right? I've been to the Isle of Avalach, among the apple trees and the mists. After the massacre in Rivia, Suri took me there, and Yennefer. The Wraith Riders kidnapped Yen, and I pursued them. But... Triss, this is important. I feel like everything's coming together. When the Witchers found me barely alive a half year ago near Kaer Morhen, I was fleeing the Wraiths of the Hunt. They continued to pursue me, in the outskirts. Then in Vizima, when I killed the Grand Master. Now I know it was no coincidence. Kieran mentioned roses of remembrance growing somewhere near here. Cedric claims likewise. If that's true... Right now I should be searching the forest for Yorveth, not looking for flowers. I could restore your memory. You sure? Everything seems to indicate that. Whatever's blocking your memory is clearly weakening. I think I could break that barrier with just one petal from a rose of remembrance. Those flowers are truly powerful. In that case, Yorvith can wait. Want me to go with you? I'd love your company. All right then. Let's go. Cedric mentioned there are some old elven buildings near the Cascade in the forest. We should start there. Lead the way. Uh, traps. the Isle of Avalok makes me think of Tirn Oog. Um, there's a line there, um, at least I swore he said it the first time around. I, mean, I don't didn't hear it there, but he said about how him and Yennefer lost track of time. Um, lost count. Uh, or whatever. In Tyrion Oak, a similar thing. Um, basically there's this, like, legendary warrior in the, in the tale of Tyrion Oak. It's like Land of the Young, is what it translates as. Um, uh, this legendary warrior is doing something, and this lady, beautiful lady on a horse appears. He, like the warriors, you know, with his friends or whatnot, and she appears one day, and she beckons him to jo to join her on the horse and to travel to Tirna Oak. He does so, and he is spirited away to the land of the young. Uh, he stays there for ages among her people. He truly enjoys himself, but his mind wanders back to his friends, to the people he left behind. He wants to go visit him, so he's give, given a horse and told to never get off it. If he does, he'll be, ban he'll be barred forever from Tirnog. So he goes, keep, keeping the advice in mind. When he gets back, he finds his home in ruins. He can't find anyone who, um, he used to know. He ends up finding some men struggling to move a boulder. And off some uh, land. He, um, or maybe he, it, it was a boulder on a guy. I can't actually remember the details. But they're struggling to move a big rock, basically. And he comes to over to help them. And he succeeds in moving it, but in the process falls off his horse. It's, I think, it, not sure if it's uh, by now it's explained to him or not, but basically he, everyone he knew was dead. Um, and when he hits off the ground, I think the horse fecks off, but he rapidly ages and is left an old, old, old man. But yeah, every, I, I, everyone he knew was dead and gone. Uh, he's been gone for ages. So, he was left a withered old man, forever barred from Tirna Oak. Um, and truly alone. What a happy story. But yeah. The Avalak thing reminds me of that. 
Wakey, wakey, coffer. You'll fall asleep forever any day now. Anyway. Safe. Uh, you can look it up yourself if you're interested. Tirnaug is spelled quite simply. Uh, Just like the horse market. Uh, T I R space N A space O F A R G. Tirnaug. Uh, we'll follow Tris once we get out of the city. Actually, I think she does have something to say before we leave. But yeah, look that up. Tirnaug. Three words. Uh, I think there's a few fathers in there. Maybe one on the I in Tyr, and then one on the O in Og. But you don't need to put them in. A father is like an accent in Spanish. It's basically Irish equivalent. I'm glad you're here. <sighs> We can follow Triss if we want. I actually know the location, but I'm going to follow her regardless because escort. I'm glad you're here. Not going to say anything else. I really thought you said something on the trip. <coughs> Ow. Sorry. Hmm. Feels like I've just got some stuck in my mouth. Ain't that just fantastic? All, all of all the be best times to have that happen. Here, let me pause for a second, take a drink. Also, oh, how do I level up again? I've actually got two um, level, uh, two towns, and I'm nearly at there for a third. I'll put the them two into here. Mutate, and here I will mutate it with uh, you. Got a bit of extra health there, which is plenty nice. And now I have three points of uh, vitality, of uh, vigor, I should I'm say. Here. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I think we've arrived. The Cascade, the Menhir. We need to take the path leading upwards. The gardens in the middle of forests. Those elves really like to complicate things. Stop whining. It's not far now. But she honestly sounds a lot, a lot, a lot younger. Like, jarringly so. She. Cedric told me a beautiful legend about this place. Legends are. Not. I'm gonna exaggerate it here a bit, but. First game, at least from what I remember, it has been like a month ago by now, I'm sure. I know it's jumping around, but. Yeah. Um, it's been a while. She, you know, sounds like a woman. Here she sounds like. Well, he said. Pop. She sounds like a, a bit of a younger woman. Or I was gonna when I was saying I was gonna exaggerate, I was gonna say she sounds like she's fucking thirteen at some stages. That's a bit too grievous of an exaggeration. But yeah, she sounds younger here and it's jarring. Cause uh, I know she ends up sounding too young. Cedric said Cymoral eclipsed even Francesca Findebear with her beauty, and Francesca's reputed to be the world's most beautiful woman. Cedric drinks too much. He really has visions, you know. He really has the gift. He could learn to control it if he drank less. Cedric drinks to get rid of the visions, and that's something I understand perfectly well. 